It's Arnold Schwarzenegger flexing on the invasion of criminal illegal aliens running amok in America. To me, coming to America was the key to my success. It's just a place where foreigners are welcomed. And this is the key thing. If you are willing to contribute yeah. to America, there's a lot of people that want to come to America to take advantage of America. And I am very vividly against that. Those two guys look alike. And as Arnie slams illegals taking advantage, the feds busting a squatter trap house chock full of gun-toting, drug-dealing migrants. Fox cameras capturing the moment when feds nabbed three of them. Seven are now currently behind bars, either waiting deportation proceedings or in local custody with ICE detainers. Mm. But one illegal is still on the run. Jesse, it's kind of interesting to see Arnold arguing against his own preferences, i.e. foreign maids. So this is a meaningful <laughs> stance coming from him. It is. But you have to remember, when he was immigrating or when many people immigrated into this country, they weren't given anything. Right. You got here, and because you weren't given anything, you had to hustle. And a lot of immigrants hustled their tails off and created empires. I mean, this country is built from immigration. And that all changes when the minute you get here, you're bused to a metropolis and you're handed a free hotel room, free debit card, free food, and just showered with welfare. You have an immediate inclination to say, well, this is great. Why, why do I have to hustle? Why do I have to get a job? Why do I have to work to get an apartment if everyone's just going to give me free stuff? So now people know that, and they're not coming for the American dream. Mm -hmm. They're coming for American welfare. And some of them are good people. Some of them are bad hombres, Jessica. And there's a lot of migrant crime. I know MSNBC denies there's migrant crime. But how many perp walks do you have to see on camera for you to see, yes, people are committing crimes. You know, it's interesting uh, that, like, the, those stories that immigrants have of, like, coming into America with nothing and building themselves up to, those stories are all going to be gone. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, it's like when, you're, when your parents say that they used to walk to school uphill both ways. Mm -hmm. it, it, immigrants to this country actually used to. Yeah. And that was really, it was arduous, it was hard, and they did a lot. And now we are in a situation where you can just, like, walk into somebody's unoccupied home and you can live there. You can trash the joint. Yeah. And then when it gets media attention, all of a sudden, that's when ICE will come in. And I expect that there will probably be some lawsuits from someone who says these poor people should not be kicked out of this house. But they, there might, and I'd be curious what the judge thinks about this, but there might now be an actual challenge in court about sanctuary cities. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's have that debate. Um, the other thing I would just mention is President Biden has really turned in the last couple of weeks since he had that uh, Radio City Music Hall event. And I think that Barack Obama got to him and said, stop talking about the border. It is not helping you. You need to turn your attention to the things that are going to help you win this election, which is health care, because he wants Obamacare to be saved. And at the same time, for example, in Texas, the Biden administration said that they were going to go and they were going to cut the razor wire in Texas. Mm -hmm. They've never sent a soul to do that. Why? because they really don't want to, because they know that that would be a terrible visual for them, and they know that the razor wire is actually helping them. If they were to go and actually cut the razor wire, then the A block, would we wouldn't have had to do the A block, because the mm -hmm. polls would be very different. Yeah. yeah it, it's a good point. Why can't Hochul do something, Judge, about any kind of these squatter loopholes? Why? Like, everybody who hears about it goes, wait, if they just stay there for 30 days? How did this happen? Well, the first question you asked is, why doesn't Hochul do something? Mm -hmm. Because she doesn't want to. Mm -hmm. We saw that Ron DeSantis in Florida did something. He did it. The law is passed. It's signed. It's going into effect. What we're living in is a Democrat. This is the, this is the epitome of a Democrat-run state. Everything from the sanctuary city state to the no bail to the no discretion on the part of the judges to DAs not prosecuting crime with no accountability. Look, this whole thing started with eight squatters living in a home that was not theirs uh, since October. And they were living there with guns and drugs and a seven-year-old child in the midst of it all. 
So because they're pointing these guns at people and running around with them, uh, the police catch on, the police make arrests, and six of the eight defendants are released by judges. And I want to mention their names because I think it's about time we understood that when the DA asks for bail and you don't give it to them, uh, we've got in the Bronx a Judge Eugene Bowen, B-O-W-E-N, and in the Bronx Judge Lawrence Bushing, B-U-S-C-H-I-N-G. Couldn't set bail, so they're gone. They're gone. Two of those individuals have already been charged with attempted murder, just like that guy was last week mm. in the uh, Jonathan Diller uh, homicide. He was a driver. He's charged with attempted murder in Yonkers and possession of a weapon, and he's out on bail. I have an idea. Crazy. All right? The idea is this. If you're an illegal and you get into trouble with the law, you are not entitled to bail. Bail is not afforded to you. Bail is something that should only be afforded to people who have roots in the community, who we know who they are, they have a job, they have family. The whole purpose of bail is to assure the return to court. If you are illegal, you are, by definition, someone who we can no longer expect to return to court. In fact, their agenda is to never respond just the way four of these Venezuelans, they're all Venezuelans, mm -hmm. they came in and already they didn't show up for their processing appointments. Shock. So it's time that we change the law in New York. If you're illegal, you don't get bail. Last word to you, Jessica. Well... On Martha's hour, in the 3 o'clock hour, she had on the um, NYPD chief of patrol who was talking about a lot of these issues, and he used very similar rhetoric to how Arnold Schwarzenegger was talking about migrants, which is the correct approach and how majority of people feel, that most of the folks who come here are good. They want a better life. They will pay their taxes. They will do whatever they, do, they need to do. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why you do need to be harsher on those that are doing things like this. And there needs to be real consequences. And he made sure to say they get their day in court. I'm not interested in, you know, throwing someone back over the border the second they're accused of something. I am. But that, I understand that. But you are <laughs> not going to be the chief of patrol. Not uh, yet. Not ever. <laughs> um, but I thought that it was a really important balance that he struck there because that's how people in cities like New York and Chicago and Baltimore and D.C. And I would say even in a lot of red areas feel where they know a lot of migrants. Uh, Joey Jones always says that he grew up in yeah. a part of Georgia. I think it was like 80 percent were migrants that. But I don't had... think anybody's ever. This is the issue of the Democrats is they're the ones that they conflate the lawful and the unlawful. We don't. Right. I never. Well, I, 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 we, I bad hombres is specifically bad hombres. It's not all hombres. Of course not. No, but there is a there is a language problem. It's, it's always about the language. Isn't no, it's it? not always about the language. The, look, they're called migrants. I mean, what else do you want us to do? Migrants no, on parole. Well, We're illegal Donald aliens Trump's under it. the law. All right. We've we changed the language. We must go. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.